Hey everyone, so welcome back to the third part of the Easy WP WooCommerce tutorial series. And let's get to the dashboard first. And in the first two parts, in the first part of the video, I have taught you, uh, I've shown you how to uh, get hosting, domain, and install WordPress. And in the second part of the video, I have shown you how to create an e commerce website, list a simple product, and list a product with variables. Um, I will show you the store right now, how our store looks right now. And this is our store and um, we create i have shown you in the second part um, how to list this products nike sneaker and this okay you can see this is an example of simple product it has just one image one size and the other product is a product with variations that is you can select different colors different sizes and both uh, and in the second part we also covered how to change the currency so and in the third part tutorial today i will show you how to list products on your site uh, that are downloadable for for this first let's log into your dashboard and then go to new product and uh, for you can use it for example like uh, if you have a website blog and you have an information product like an ebook or if you have a cooking website and you want to sell your own recipe book or uh, you know some kind of information book so you can use this method to list your products ebooks so i will show you like um, my uh, let's first uh, put a title here my awesome recipe book okay and here we will need to enter the long description for example it can contain uh, uh, like this will uh, this will be the long description and so here you can put um, images and um, a kind of a preview of the book what what lessons uh, what chap what recipes are in the book or if it's a other information product then what uh, you know what kind of topics you have covered in the book so you can put the long description here okay and um, then let's scroll down and from here um, you just keep it simple and then select it virtual yes it is a virtual product it is a PDF file and then yes it is a downloadable product so now let's set the price and um, let's say we want to set it uh, for we are selling it for 15.99 and the sale price is 9.99 and it is only available for a limited time the sale is only available for a limited time for so from today and the sale will be valid to, for three days okay and then uh, let's add a downloadable file so click on add file then select the file i will upload it and then click on it add this insert this url here okay and the download limit so that once the once a customer has purchased it they can download it um, let's say 10 times and they will be able to do so for the next 90 days okay and if you do not want to set a limit you can leave this fields blank and then let's go to inventory well there's no need to manage inventory because it is unlimited um, it's not limited stock if you want to uh, upsell cross sell i have shown you how it works in the previous video so i would recommend you to watch the part two all the links will be in the description and attributes advanced advanced you can put here like thank you for purchasing this book for any queries uh, email me and you can put your email there okay enable reviews if you want to and then here this will be the short description of the product so whatever your product is based upon that you can uh, put a short description here and the short description will be like this it will appear here and the long description will will be shown here in the description tab here 
okay so in the short description put something that will catch users attention and in the long description it will be it will contain the detailed uh, product description so now let's go to the right sidebar well we do not have a relevant category so let's add one book and in product uh, product tags add book and um, let's select the product image we'll upload one Okay, make sure you select a good illustrative image so that it sells better and this is one and if you have more than one images um, you can add all those images from the this option add product gallery images okay so the process is same just go to upload and image add those images okay and now let's publish it okay let's see how it looks on our store and this is how this listing will look you can see the image it's on sale and um, from 90 um, 9.99 the sale prices in the short description you can also enter the information that the sale is only valid from this date to this date you know so it will create a exclusive kind of exclusive kind of deal and hopefully you will get better sales and this long description will be here the reviews are here and that's pretty much how simple it is okay so now let's uh, move on to the next topic of today's video and that is how to add coupon codes okay coupon coupon whatever you call it and for that what you have to do is again go to new from here go to coupon okay and in the coupon code let's say um, if you have a new it, it's a new store okay and you are going to give let's say welcome make the code welcome and in the description you can just this is just for your own um, uh, for your own uh, so that you can later uh, you know find out for what kind of uh, why you created this coupon code the description it is not for customers and let's enter it um, for new customers twenty percent off and here select percentage discount then coupon amount will be twenty and um, if you want to enable free shipping you can do this uh, but I will not enable that uh, <clears throat> any customer who use this code will only get 20% discount and the coupon expiry date is um, from one month now okay in the usage restriction uh, the minimum spend value should be 50 bucks okay the maximum spend well I will not enter it because you know they can spend as much as I can and but because we are giving 20 percent so maybe um let's limit it to a thousand bucks okay so the maximum discount will be uh, two hundred dollars so and um, individual use only so basically it enables that uh, okay i forgot to any um show you one op option for for that you have to go to woocommerce settings let's say um scroll uh, from products first first tab it is general products uh, general tab the coupon options so let's say if you want to, your customers to be able to use multiple coupons which is usually not the case but let's say you want it so you will have to enable this option calculate coupon dec discount sequentially um, this also when applying multiple coupons okay apply the first coupon to the full price and the second coupon to a discounted price so let's say there are two coupons for 20 percent discount and 10 percent discount so the so you should use it else you will get a lot of discount okay so save changes here let's close it let's go back here and in this option individual use only so um, so if you take this option your customers will only be able to use this one code and they will not be use it with multiple coupon codes okay so let's say we enable this 
the sales item so all items which are currently on sale this coupon code will not work on this so I will um, uh, exclude, uh, untake it and for pro you can select if you want this coupon code to be valid only for selected products then you can enter your product name here like this one and it will only work for this product okay and similarly you can exclude products and if you do not want this coupon code to be valid on some kind of product let's say you have an ebook and you do not want to give a 20 percent discount more on ebook and only want to give discount on your physical product so you can uh, exclude that ebook here okay and similarly product categories um, you know you can enable this for only for the uh, category uh, men category or women category or book category sneakers category and exclude categories any category you want let's say we want to exclude the book okay and then allowed allowed emails so let's say you have uh, you had a giveaway kind of you know giveaway kind of campaign and you uh, want uh, you created a spe special coupon code for only for users who have won in that contest okay so uh, for all the winners you can um, you can get their emails and put the uh, put them here in the allowed emails so only users who have that email uh, account with that email on your site only they will be able to use this coupon code so you can use this feature for that kind of usage and then in the usage limit um, usage limit per coupon okay um, yes how many times this coupon code can be used before it is void so let um, how many times you want um, this to be valid so let's say we want it valid for first thousand sales okay limit usage to x items no um, usage limit per user um, first only one only one time they will be able to use because of, and as it is valid only for new customers okay then publish it and that's pretty much it let's say you want to generate another coupon code which will give users free shipping okay free ship this will be the code they will have to enter free um, free shipping and fixed let's say uh, you can allow free shipping here and similarly just publish it okay so we have enabled this okay so they will get a fixed discount zero and they will get free shipping with this and the usage restriction we have not uh, enabled the individual use um, okay let's um, set some minimum spend here let's say they should uh, at least spend 30 bucks to get free shipping or 20 and there is no maximum limit and you know there's no restriction on usage let's okay so if they spend a flat more than 30 bucks they will get a free shipping and we want to any give them extra coupon code that they will be able to use with uh, free shipping so let's say uh, now this time let's give them a fixed discount of ten dollars ten off okay Ten bucks flat off, and here fixed card discount. You can also give fixed product discount um, for different use. So uh, they will get fixed ten dollars, and um, the coupon expiry date is next month. Usage restriction is fifteen dollars. Okay, maximum there is no maximum individual use no will uh, we can you um, users will be able to use it with the free shipping code so exclude sales item nothing usage limit and it can be used thousand times uh, single users will be able to use let's say um, five times okay now let's apply this and see how it works let's visit our store and 
Let's go here. Okay, I forgot the Google codes created. Let's go back to the dashboard from your WooCommerce. Press coupon. Okay. So the first coupon code was welcome. Then we have already added some items in the cart, so let's apply this coupon code here. Welcome. Okay. You will see we got a flat 20% discount. It will automatically calculate and you can this and let's say if we want to try to apply the free ship coupon too with it free ship apply and you can see here the error message sorry coupon welcome has already been applied and cannot be used in uh, with uh, other coupons okay so let's remove this and now apply only free ship okay and okay free shipping coupon code has been applied and let's apply the another 10 off coupon code and you can see this coupon code has also been applied and you can see the uh, price has been deducted 10 bucks from the total so and the free shipping coupon code has also been applied so that's how it works and i hope you found this tutorial useful and um, stay subscribe to my channel and you can follow the uh, find the playlist of the easy wp woocommerce tutorial series uh, the link will be in the description and you, if i have created more videos in the series I, you can watch them too and um, so for this video uh, i will create only i will cover only these topics and um, in the next video we will cover more uh, functions about woocommerce so make sure to subscribe to my channel and uh, keep watching the playlist if you found this video useful uh, do leave a like and post your feedback in the comments uh, what you like if you didn't like something or if you want me to explain it in different way or you want uh, if there's any error or anything you want um, you know, just post in the comments so i will see you in the next video